All right, everyone, check it out. If you've ever been to the jetties fishing and the guy next to you is launching his bait like a mile long away from the rocks and you can't quite figure out how it is that he's getting it out there whenever you're using one of these and it doesn't look like something like this right here. Uh, I'm gonna show you today how to build your very own like jetty cork for lack of a better term because I don't think there's anything out there that uh, actually got an, you know, a name. I, I searched YouTube and couldn't find anything. So after getting my hands on this and this right here from two fellow fishermen out there on the jetties, uh, I can just take a look at it and you can basically see that it is this right here. And it's very simple to make. All you're gonna need is your own popping cork, whatever size you wanna use. You'll need a styrofoam like ball style float or you can use one of these popping corks like that. It doesn't matter. You're just gonna need those, a, an egg sinker. Now, I don't have any other egg sinkers. I used the last one that I had to build this one right here. But imagine this is an egg sinker. You'll need a barrel swivel and then a couple of glass beads, some corrosion resistant safety wire and electrical tape if aesthetics is your thing. Because as you can see, mine has no electrical tape around it, but the one that I received does have electrical tape. So uh, I'm not sure if the electrical tape is gonna help with like snag proofing the lure so it doesn't snag your uh, leader with your bait on it. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, <clears throat> you're gonna take about 20 inches of safety wire and then just go ahead and clip that. Fold it in half. I mean, this is super simple to make. It cost like less than $5, I wanna say, was all the supplies. I already had this laying around in the garage, so you get that at any auto parts store. All right, so you take your safety wire, fold it in half. Again, pretend it's an egg sinker. Thread that through, and then there you go right there. You'll take a glass bead, thread that through. Okay. Now the reason why I'm using a glass bead right here is because I wanna take and protect the bottom of the popping cork. Now there is a green tube that runs through this and you want to make sure that that stays intact. I've already clipped the tag end of the green tube off of mine because I don't want that to be sticking out as, you know, that far. So I clip that off. We'll thread this through the green tube and then just make sure that that goes all the way through. There we go. Got it through. And then you cinch that down like that. Make sure it's nice and tight. The glass bead is gonna protect the green tube and the styrofoam uh, from the safety wire actually shooting through with the bottom of your egg sinker. So that's why I'm using the glass bead. So up here, it's very simple. You take your round float, make sure that you leave the little yellow plastic or whatever plastic piece that goes through it so that you don't just rip this straight through the styrofoam. You thread that straight through. All right, let's get this going. We got one through and there we go. Both of those go through that round float, cinch that down, and then you take your barrel swivel right here, just thread it through one end, put it down right there. Actually, you know what, I forgot. I wanna put another bead up here to protect this styrofoam float. So being that I don't have any more glass beads, we'll just sacrifice this guy and get one of these beads right there. We'll thread it through both. Okay, there we go. Both tag ends on that safety wire. Cinch it down. Take your barrel swivel now, run it through, and then essentially you just twist this right there, make a little pigtail. Later on, I'll figure out how to aesthetically 
do this without this tag end being there. But clip this right here. There you go. That's how you create one of these with the few pieces of you know tackle that you already have laying around. It's that simple. It is super simple. These are very effective. You can put whatever weight that you want. This right here is a one ounce. This one is a three quarter ounce. This is a two ounce egg sinker. It's actually not an egg sinker, but I mean, you get the idea. And you basically make your own jetty cork to launch your bait out there. All right, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you like it, give me that thumbs up, please. If you're not subscribed to the channel, stick around, watch some of the other videos. If you like those, hit that subscribe button. And I appreciate the love and support that each and every one of you show me to all my subscribers. Till next time, tight lines, everyone.